Hello everybody, Tim Hughes here. I'm the CEO and co-founder of DLA Ignite. With me today, I've got Pete, Pete Can, and we're going to talk about using laughter as a way of energizing your team and your business. And um, we're going to talk about laughter yoga and all of those wonderful things that uh, Pete advocates. Um, I always get the people to introduce themselves and talk about where people can find them before we get into the interview, Pete, because I think it's just a great way of of giving you that chance to to to, to pitch where they can find you. <laughs> well, Tim, thank you so much for having me along. Uh, so where you can find me, uh, my website's uh, petecan.com. That's C A W N dot com. And if you want to come and find me socially, uh, it's hashtag the laughter man uh, up there up there somewhere uh, i'm on most social channels and the best place to have a conversation is probably on linkedin that's where i reside the most mm. and so pete um how did you become the laughter man i mean you've got to tell us this because this is it, it must be a great you must have a great story behind this yeah well thanks for asking me so, so tim i was um i was at a festival called womad in the southwest of the uk it back in 2016 and been going there for quite a few years with the family and i was walking through the arboretum and heard laughter and i thought to myself there must be a comedian on stage and as i walked around the corner i was greeted by 100 people lying on the floor laughing for no reason at all i thought no reason uh there was a sign saying laughter yoga daily at half 11. so i thought you know this is this looks this looks fun i'm going to go and try this so i turned up the next day i uh, did a whole laughter yoga session and the lying down bit was the end of the session so we did all these different laughing and breathing exercises and uh, yeah, the premise, I suppose, of laughter yoga is your body doesn't know the difference between fake and real, really. So you do these exercises and there's this little click and you're genuinely laughing. And then we all lay down and literally couldn't stop laughing for probably about 10 minutes. And then uh, we do a meditation when we do a session. And we did this meditation and I came back to the field and I felt really sort of clean in the mind I felt really energized I felt really focused I felt happy um you know because I run a, I run a chef agency as well so I run quite a busy stressful business so actually I all of a sudden found this this coping mechanism for me to release a lot of stress and tension and uh so fast forward to 2019 I started just like deciding I wanted to bring more laughter to other people rather than just my own life started this laughter journey um with my my, my website and uh and then when lockdown hit hospitality ground to a halt in the uk yeah. and i dived into laughter as a mechanism for my mental well-being at that point because i couldn't control anything that was going on in my business and i started laughing online and then i did a little poll i said look actually i'm thinking of different names i could call myself and I went on to linkedin i said uh, you know when i was at school people go yeah pete can the dustbin man and it was just like actually pete can the laughter man that works. Ooh, yeah that works and then uh yeah so next thing i put it on linkedin put this poll out and uh then i became the laughter man in 2020 and then just it's just snowballed from there basically so you're 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 pretty much so, so now you're going to you're literally going to the bank laughing completely completely mm -hmm. it's uh yeah going from when i first started to you know just i suppose learning my craft so like anything when you first go out to places you know you, you you're working out yeah, a can you charge how much can you charge and mm. then as lockdown started happening i started doing more online things and realizing actually we can laugh online and it does work and so we had all these disjointed teams uh so i come into a zoom session um into, into team meetings and get everyone laughing and and all of a sudden i was sort of making money for turning up to team meetings for half an hour and sort of doing four to five a week which was amazing and now things have opened up and now i'm sort of traveling the breadth of uh of the uk which you know it's a bit of a different conversation now because i'm like do i have to go to leeds but actually <laughs> i'll get get paid not not just because it's leeds but you know i don't, I don't know i chose leeds because i'm based in bristol it's a bit of a journey yes. it's uh, a it's a metaphor for a long journey it's not that we think that leeds is a, <laughs> yeah, exactly. a great place um so you know like for instance next week i'm in london twice two days right. next week which is great why I could have been like one day and I could have done two sessions in a day that would have probably made more logical sense um but there's something more powerful when you're actually in person because you can see the whites of people's eyes and you can really get that laughter connection so um yeah yeah but so in, in the covid years you coming on a zoom call I mean there was a, a time 
when when we were in lockdown here in the UK, where it was it was a repressive. Um, I mean, there was it was just like we were. Just, everybody was depressed, mm. and I can imagine you just coming on to a Zoom call out of nowhere would would have been transformational for for lots and lots of people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this this was the thing. It's like you're right. Everyone. Yeah, a lot of the UK were, you know, really depressed and anxious and overwhelmed, not knowing what was going on. And actually, yeah, just all of a sudden, this guy with the red hat just pops onto the screen. And so your usual team meeting can be a bit like, oh, a bit, but then, you know, I've got this proven formula that works that I can get everyone laughing as long as they're engaged. And that's the point. I, I yeah. can't get everyone. If someone sat there on their phone like this, then. Yeah. They're, they're I mean, you're engaged. always going to get someone that will turn the video off and, and, Completely. Oh, I, I don't want to be happy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you know, these, these, yeah, it, it's just nice to be able to like the feedback that I get from companies after the session. So I always ask for for feedback straight away, and they're like, "Wow, you know, the team loved it. The team were really happy. They were really engaged. They're, the you know, the the conversation in the team meeting was a lot more lively, a lot more creative, a lot more ideas coming to the to the forefront, which." really i suppose being a business owner myself and knowing how i use laughter to open up my creative mind to be able to create sort of copy marketing video ideas that actually you know i think laughter's got this amazing way of like just evening out everybody so anyone can voice their opinion anyone can come up with some creative ideas and and people in in these meetings have said like actually you know i know Stephen in in whichever department never really spoke up but actually you know after the session he he, he came up with this genius idea and it's just like because i'd opened up the creative side of his brain hmm. and he was and he was also comfortable enough to be able to talk about it rather than you know a lot of people will sit and hold their ideas and and as a business owner we don't want that we want we want ideas because that's how we grow don't we yeah. So, so you, you, you come on, to, you come on and do um, zoom calls with people. You're now doing um, team meetings and you're traveling and um, you also do, you've done a number of weekend retreats, haven't you? Where you actually do, you get people to laugh the whole of the weekend. Yeah. 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 So I do, I train people to become laughter leaders. Um, so that's one way, whether you want to be a leader or not, but actually if you look at it the other way, you get to spend two days, play, laughing, fun, clowning just 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 being a child again which is really really good and and actually seeing the pre and post sort of uh, way that people like first initially they're quite excited that they're there but you can see that they're they're still a little bit tense and tense and then by the end of the weekend everyone's just more free flowing they're more relaxed they're more you know their cheeks are glowing from just laughing and having fun for the weekend F fantastic so um we're going to do some, aren't we? Um, um, I just wanted to know when, in the in the scheme of things, when, when are we? Is it going to be the last three minutes or five minutes, or when, when is it that you want to do some laughter? Tim, I'll do laughter any time of the day, mate. If you want to go now, we can go now. Uh, we can well, have a well I was wondering because 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 my friend Mike O'Connor's um, watching this on on uh, YouTube, and he yeah. keeps making so, so so Mike used to be a cage fighter. Okay. Uh, but he, but he likes to have a laugh. Yeah, anyway, yeah. you and you and Mike need to know each other anyway, because because anyway. But um, but when when do you want to do some? When are we going to do some laughter? Let Let's do it now, Tim. Let's okay, do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Right. So ba basically, the first thing we're going to do, Tim, is we're just going to take a nice deep breath in like this. We're just going to let out a long breath. And now we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to let out a long ha. So deep breath in. And we're just going to go, ah. Okay. So now we're going to pretend that we're, uh, we're, we're, I suppose, nose to nose with Mike. Okay. And we're, we're just going gonna... to. You are doing this. Can you let us know that you're doing this? <laughs> Because you know, as part of uh, part of fighting, I think you, you obviously have that stare out at the beginning, at which basically you know it's really really important to try and intimidate. But actually, apparently, I've heard a lot of the time it does turn into laughter naturally. So uh, so 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 Tim, we, we're just going to stare each other down the eyes, and we're just going to start with a little gentle. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Is <laughs> at this point you can't stop, can you? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's take a deep breath in again. And breathe out. Okay, so that, that's just a gentle, gentle laugh. So there's lots of different laughing exercises we can use. I mean, probably one of my favorites is called a giggle phone. Now, we've all got a phone that looks a bit like this, okay? Mm. But for this exercise, Tim, mm. we just this is what our giggle phone looks like. We're mm. going to put it to our ear, yep. and you're just going to start laughing like it's the funniest thing you've heard all day. Now, okay. when you're out in public, we can do this, right? No one mm. knows that there's no one on the other side of your phone. So you can just sit there just laughing and it's fine until it starts ringing then obviously you're just like oh, okay so show me your giggle phone tim yeah and we're going Swap phones, get another phone. (laughs) 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 Uh, Breathe in and just breathe out. The only problem is, Tim, when when you've been on your giggle phone for the whole month, you get a giggle bill. Now, this bill can be any bill. It can be your phone bill. It can be a credit card statement. It can even be our electric bill, you know. But we can't change. You can't change what's on the paper, okay? So if you ever find something that, like, gets you fired, like, you just got to look at it and just go. Um, <laughs> it's it's it, you you can't stop once you start going you can't stop it it's a it's a an amazing um and it and it does it gets you quite light headed it's a bit like I guess it's a bit like drinking champagne you know how it kind of goes to your head and it you know that, that. Mm. yeah exactly it's, it's it's basically we get a release of endorphins dopamine oxytocin serotonin so all of these positive chemicals that just go into our brain straight away it just makes you feel. I, yeah, it just makes you feel lighter, like instantly. And actually, when we're laughing, we can't be like you can't, you can't be stressed or overwhelmed or anxious because you're completely present in that moment in time. So, you know, I use personally, I use laughter on a daily basis. I laugh every morning on Clubhouse for ten minutes with other people. We don't talk; we just laugh. Oh, you've got you've got a a, 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 a laughter Clubhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I literally for ten minutes, just you dial in, and no one talks. We just laugh, and that's it. And then, and there's a there's a click. At probably about four, five, six minutes. Then you're genuinely laughing, and then and then you get someone who's got this laugh. Someone's got, oh, and then someone's got, a, <laughs> and it's just, and then and then part of your brain, you also like you 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 just sit there sometimes and just think, I can't believe I'm sat here with, with 12 other people from around the world, just laughing for just for laughter's sake. And just the, the, the silliness, I suppose of it just makes you laugh even more. So um, yeah, you should, you so, should. So when, Mike. When's that? So Mike's in the U S so, um, but you, that's, that's a UK morning, isn't it? It is. It's 8.15. Well, BST or G well, BST at the moment, British summertime. So that's like, that's, yeah that's early mike that's really early or really late depending on which way you want to go with it so uh yeah and you, you also, other... so you do the the clubhouse and you're doing this challenge aren't you where because i'm joining you aren't you is it like you're making a million was it how many you're making a load of people laugh aren't you You're yes. laughing yeah, so my my mission is to bring laughter to a million people. That's that's, that's my it. my my over overarching mission. So and you know I don't have a tally chart. I'll be honest. I don't. I, you know I'm not sat there counting every day. But actually I know that like obviously just being on this show, we've got one. 
with you, Tim. We know Mike's watching. Well, two Mike. We have got Michael and Mike watching. So um, I think it's it's the same person, but once he's coming in from YouTube and from LinkedIn. <laughs> That's amazing. He'll be on Twitter in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's coming at us from all angles. So, uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's, it's basically just knowing that, you know, so I've done, I've done some stuff on big stages. So like 1500 people. So again, I know that that 1500 people have had a laugh, you know, and, and my mission, or one of my visions, not a mission is to be on stage in San Francisco in front of 2000 people. So if you're watching this and you are around the area and you know, anybody that runs some big conferences that need some laughter energy, then, Hey, you're the man. I am the man. You know, when we're full of bread, Tim, you know, after the lunch and everyone's yeah. just a bit like, well, that's where I come on. I'm the energizer. I get everyone up, everyone standing, everyone laughing, everyone just being engaged again. It's, for it, the it's amazing, weekend. isn't it, Pete, with the fact that everybody else avoids the, the, the session after lunch where you're basically going, bring it on. I want to do it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's um, I'm the graveyard shift guy. Um so yeah obviously i don't eat lunch before i do it though i'll go well i'll have lunch afterwards so <laughs> yeah so so you and you you and mike need to connect anyway because um mike is a big connector mike o'connor is a big connector um he also runs um he's he set up his own um social network okay um and um it, you, anyway you, you two need to connect anyway in, in terms of the um after this yes yes and i i can see he's on linkedin which is fantastic so i will definitely be hooking up with him on linkedin look out for the red hat mike i'm coming <laughs> so so what you you've created a whole bunch of stuff around this 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 laughter yoga and that i mean get, 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 talk to us about some of the um you know when you run it in sessions of the the the, the what what you've got so when so, so vision this so you're standing in front of that audience of 2000 people in san francisco mm -hmm. what will happen so i will basically i come on stage i will get everyone stood up straight away get everyone to do some deep breaths just to understand how laughter is just breath work and then we do some different laughing exercises so probably similar to the ones we've just done the giggle phone we do we get them to pass that to each other and then within 15 minutes the whole auditorium is laughing and it's just the energy is just lifts lift 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 and then i step away and then the next person comes onto stage who who might be a little bit like uh how do i follow that but all, on the other side they're also going actually you know, I'm about to teach some people some other stuff and actually now they're ready to to, to consume it because they're open to it. Or, or the, the, the people that have organized it make sure that the next person that comes on is a um is a is a has a certain style of speaking. Yes. And isn't yeah. just gonna come on and put on a hundred pounds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kill the mood. And you you've come on and you I must admit you've come on and you've done a number of um the things for us. Um, on our Friday um, uh, digital download, and mm -hmm. and it just got all everybody laughing. I mean, it was just absolutely fantastic. The old giggle phone and that—it's just—it's—it's it's brilliant. <laughs> it's contagious. It's infectious. It's just contagious. You know, so my 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 job isn't that hard to be fair, because I, I know the process works. But you know, I suppose having the passion that it, it's not just the fact that it's just laughter it's just like actually how good it is for you as a human to laugh and we just don't laugh enough tim we you know we, we're lucky as adults to laugh maybe 10 or 15 times in a day and that that literally is just a <laughs> that's the laugh well actually what we do is we prolong that laughter and so when when i run a session it starts with maybe like 10 seconds of laughter but the exercises near the end are like sort of one to two minutes of just continuous laughter which actually is a really good workout as well so yeah. it's um yeah it's just it's just it's just yeah brilliant i mean from the outside people are looking i get it some people are just going like i don't want to laugh i don't feel like laughing it's like well sit over there in your in your in your space then and just just be that that person but actually if you come over here and because life is too short not to have mm. fun and play I, I i firmly believe that and you know within any business if we haven't got some sort of fun element then people aren't going to enjoy working there as much i think you know you, that's my personal opinion you know every, every job that i've ever had 
if it wasn't fun the day it stopped becoming fun to go to work was the day i looked for another role because actually yeah. i wanted that that energy and i think it's important to him isn't it yeah it is and i think that people underestimate the the, the laughter as you said all those the, the the mind and the body doesn't know whether it's that you're laughing over that or you're actually making it up but you're still releasing all of those those chemicals and mm. it's a great way of kind of relaxing i know some people think oh i kind of feel stupid by it but that's you know part of it that's part of the process but yeah you know and 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 who cares nobody nobody cares i mean when you came on the did, did our digital download and it, and it just went down a storm it was just fantastic everybody yeah. joined in everybody knew that by having a good laugh i mean it's just it's just simple simple technique that actually enables everybody to energize and anyway it was, it was great fun yeah yeah and then i sort of step out of the room then and then it's just like it just it's all bubbly mm. then isn't it and everyone's mm. talking and laughing and yeah i'm he, just reading the comments <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he laughs before he fights so so which makes sense. Again, I laugh. Yeah. You know, I laugh before I go onto stage, before I go into a big room or any room actually. If I if I'm going to run a session for twenty strangers, then I will have a little chuckle to myself because <laughs> I know I know how it how it helps me. You know, I, mem I remember the first big event I did it, and I was in the wings, and I was just like, I, I was just looked out and just went, "Whoa." There's a, a lot of people there and then uh, like so all of a sudden you're just like oh and but i was just like <laughs> and just went through the process and started stretching and laughing stretching and laughing so by the time i came onto stage i was up and energy and because because ultimately as a presenter that's what you need to be as well you need to be able to give your energy to people so they can take it don't you pete thank you so much for coming on today and sharing out with us it's been fantastic and we've had a good laugh as well <laughs> come on tim <laughs> i, I want to get i need to get mike on and get him to laugh as well so. <laughs> definitely definitely it's been lots of fun and, and mike i will definitely be reaching out to you to say hello on linkedin for sure brilliant thanks pete i really appreciate you coming on and uh, i'll see you soon i'm sure